Namaste, welcome back to Yogesh Channel. Now we are going to do the Pada Hastasana, that is the standing forward bend. This is a little tricky. This uh, standing forward bend is little tricky and uh, uh, it will create little problems, you know, if you have the uh, low back pain. That is the disc bulge and uh, things like that, sciatica, things like that. So, uh, how to do the forward bend? Okay. So, we will see that. So, before that, you know, may I request you to bell, uh, to click the bell icon and uh, subscribe to the channel. Thank you. Now, see. 3 to 4 inches gap, 3 to 4 inches gap or little bit more also whichever is comfortable to you. Now I will just see the default posture, see, down, 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 keep exhaling, keep exhaling, keep exhaling and hold. So my knees are straight and this is the shin bone, this is called as tibia or the shin bone, my hands is on the shin bone, okay. Now I am going to see, show you the side pass, the profile, so check how is my spine, how is my spine, is my spine is straight, my spine is straight parallel to the floor that is very important many people do this they may not even have the proper flexibility to do the padasthasana but still what we think is you know we have to hold our feet that is what we always have that is not the focus please remove that from your mind that is not correct it is going to give, give you more trouble if you are going to do that See, if a person, a new person, beginner, okay, he will be able to do only up to this, that's all. But still this is Padasthasana, yes. The main thing what we have to see is, you know, keeping the spine parallel to the floor, see. This is very important, not this. This is not correct. Okay, so the flexion of the spine increases more problem and you are going to break or damage your uh, neck, you will get neck pain. So this is fine. Now if you want to go still further, now what you can do is again come forward, okay, bend, keep your hands on the feet, keep your hands on the feet. See, can you see that? Okay. Now. I am separating my whole upper body from the lower body completely. See? I am concentrating on the lumbar spine. So that is, you have to stretch here. You should feel the stretch here at the back. Just, okay, it's just above the pan. Just above the pan. That is the lumbar spine. So that is where you know you have to feel the stretch. Even if you are going to start with the knees bent, it is fine. You are in the right direction. Don't do this again, I am telling you. And keep your chin, keep your face parallel to the floor again. Don't do this. This is correct. This is correct. When you get up, Keep your knees bent, otherwise you know your back is going to be strained. Okay, last time, come on. No, I am going to, I am doing the default posture. Okay, now 20 seconds, I can stay for 20 seconds. Okay, after 20 seconds, if my back is not very strong, what I will do is, okay, now bend. So this removes all the strain from the back. So this is the Padahastasana. If you have any doubt, please direct that question to me in the 
comments box so that you know I can help you out how how to do how not to do the posture. Again, I am requesting you to subscribe and uh, uh, click the bell icon. Thank you.